Hi everybody, my name is Mari. This is my YouTube channel, Crafting Mari. I first of all have to apologize. I'm getting over a cold, so I'm a little congested, so bear with me. But I really wanted to share my new pen. It's the Opus 88 2024 Coloro Demonstrator in pink. And I got it from Pen Chalet. Uh, they shipped it really fast and I just saw it on their YouTube shorts and you know, as, as they say, I just had to have it. So um, I'm so glad that it came so quickly. Here it is, see? Opus 88, 2024 pink demo, genuine eye dropper fountain pen. Wow. And um, this is in an extra fine. I usually get fine, but I wanted to try it in extra fine because I do prefer a finer nib. So we'll see. This is my first eyedropper pen. So, okay, here we go. Here's, here it is. You know, the little instructions. Um, not very exciting, but it's good to have. We have the eyedropper, a little extra o-ring, and the pen. Here it is. Um, I did already open it, so. But it's fun to see it in the box, right? Um, so she's pink with a turquoise cap, top on the cap, and then purple, and then the section is also purple. Really pretty. The nib is black. And one detail I really like is on the cap, it says Opus 88, and on the back side it says 2024. I don't know if that'll show up. I'll take photos later. And it's just really pretty. So I am going to fill it up with ink. I was, I usually don't like to do matchy matchy inks. I usually like to, you know, I don't know, surprise, but I really like this ink in terms of its consistency. It's the Sailor Monyo Akebi ink. And, you know, so it's like a beautiful magenta. I'm not so good on color names, but um, yeah, so. Let's see how I do. Fingers crossed I do it right. Here we go. I'm fast forwarding this part because Gold Spot Pens actually has a much better video on how to fill this up. I'm not an expert, this is my first time. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that there's a green version of this pen as well. Um, and in Pen Chalet video, they mentioned how they refer to each other in terms of the writing on the cap. This one is green and the green one has pink. I think that's really nice. Okay, so the pen is inked up and look, I've had a disaster. Um, I did not screw the grip on very well. So when I was like testing the pen, I was filming and I was testing the pen and I'm all like, what is going on? And you know, there's ink all over my hand. User error. So I'm gonna try again and here we go. So this is the Opus Coloro. Let me explain something first. This is an old Hobonichi um, A6 size from 2022. Uh, I didn't use it, so now I just use it this year for um, ink swatches 2024 in pink. And it's the extra fine nib. And the ink is Sailor Manu. Okay. Uh, so I like to test by writing a passage from 
a book. And right now, today, we're going to use Pride and Prejudice, because my daughter's reading it right now for leisure. And I, it's it was here, and it's handy. So let me write a little sample. I'm, my handwriting's not that great, so just, it's just for my pleasure. I don't have any fancy cameras, so this is just all filmed on my iPhone, so I apologize for the quality of the video. I wish I could have, you know, those really cool ones where you can see the ink really close up, but I'm going to insert a photo of the finished writing so you can see kind of how good the ink is and how the pen wrote. So I hope that helps. I love this ink. I really love the color. Uh, so the pen, I really like it. Uh, I like pens with feedback. I know that's not a thing that everybody likes, but um, but for me, I just can't stop looking at my hand. Uh, but for me, it's, I don't know, it makes me happy. Uh, my hand didn't hurt while I was writing it. It was comfortable in my hand. I'm actually one of those people who it kind of doesn't matter the size of a pen. I'm just weird that way. I can do small pens, I could do big pens. This is definitely the biggest pen I think I own. I don't own that many pens. Um, but um, it felt comfortable. I could have kept writing much, much longer. So now let's compare it with other pens. Okay, so now we're gonna do some size comparisons. I don't have that many pens, I apologize. I'm, I, um, I like what I like, um, and this was definitely an impulse buy for me. Uh, it was, again, like the color combo just spoke to my heart. Uh, so the closest thing I have, I have a Bennu, I think this is a talisman, and in, uh, in size is, uh, this is in the color Edelweiss. I also have a Vanishing Point. And then, you know, for fun, let's also do, this is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So that's how the size compares. Uh, let's take off the caps and look at them without their caps. Okay, so I did my best to try to line these up in a nice way, but I mean, I don't have a pen tree. This is a wood veneer flooring sample. Um, my husband is an architect and uh, this is what we got. Uh, but as you can see, it's a little thicker than the Bennu. But like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. I just thought it would be really funny. Um, my daughter bought me this pen for my birthday. She bought me four. And it's these Stabilo pens. Look how skinny they are. They're so cute. Um, but... I'm gonna try to write and see how long I can write with this. I'm just kind of curious because I bet you, like after like a couple minutes, I'll be like, no. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's a size comparison. So this is my new pen. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I apologize for my voice and the weird lighting conditions. The um, weather's a little strange today. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.